Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be using a whole bunch of different things on our rock. Uh, I've gotten a lot of awesome compliments from all of you uh, for a similar one on my Facebook. So I thought I would show you guys how I did it. So I'm starting off with a nice flat stone. It's about seven and a half inches wide, I believe. Um, I'm making it white using just regular acrylic paint, two coats of that, letting it dry. Then I'm going to mix some glitter with some Mod Podge. So any kind of like white glue that dries clear. Uh, I'm using Mod Podge because basically that is a glue. Um, and I added a bunch of like silverish holographic glitter. You can choose what you want. But I'm using this color because we're going to be using alcohol ink. Um, but first, after I let this dry, we're going to resin it. So it's going to get two coats of resin. So this is going to take a while to dry because I did a nice thick coat of Mod Podge with glitter. Um, I'm going to sponge it down, make sure it's completely even, that there's no white paint showing through. And then I let it dry for quite some time and then I seal it with resin. And this has been cured for probably about 17, 18 hours already. Um, so it's ready for me to use alcohol ink. <laughs> now I will list where I got my alcohol ink, my glitter, my resin. I will list everything in the description below this video. And um, yeah, everything you need to know will be in there, including my resin tutorials so that you know how to resin. Um, you can use whatever kind of glitter you want, but this glitter shows up as like a silvery holographic. And then I can see my uh, alcohol ink a lot better. So it's gonna soak in a little bit. It's gonna dim down a little bit against that silver background, but it's gonna look amazing. Um, make sure you use a mask or a very extremely well ventilated area. I was sent some messages, you know, saying that you gotta be careful even when you're using al um, alcohol inks. So make sure you use a well ventilated area, open a window, put on a mask, be safe. All I want you to do is have fun and part of having fun is being safe. So do that. Anyway, I'm using random colors, very inexpensive alcohol ink from Amazon. Um, and I'm just putting random blobs everywhere and I'm, I'm using uh, alcohol, rubbing alcohol, and I'm just kind of painting that on with a disposable paintbrush to move the rubbing alcohol around and mix the colors together, blend them together a little bit. Um, it just kind of moves the ink. It moves the ink and blends the ink when I use um, rubbing alcohol. Yeah. So if you want help with more rubbing alcohol tutorials, they will also be listed in the description below this video. And of course, you can always check my video list because I have now, okay, we've already done one coat of resin. Now we're doing a second coat of resin over top of our, our alcohol ink so that that ink doesn't bleed through to our painting. Uh, we wanna cover it with resin and let it cure for 20 hours. So today I decided I've never used a stencil on my channel before. I've got over 200 tutorials and I've never once used a stencil, not with any of the, le the lettering that I've done. So today I'm gonna use a stencil from my Cricut and if you guys wanna see more stuff using stencils from my Cricut, please let me know in the comments below. Um, I'd be happy to do that with you guys. Some fun stuff we can do. Um, I just don't feel very confident with my lettering um, and there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong at all with that. So I'm using transfer tape. I put my blue um, stencil tape or stencil vinyl down and I have um, used a finger sponge and black acrylic paint just to sponge down on top of the lettering that says the word hope. We all can use some hope. I know this. I have been struggling. I put a message on uh, my Facebook recently saying, guys, I was running on empty. I needed to spend some time with my boys to fill my heart back up because honestly, it's been very stressful. And some of the comments I get are, you know, they can really make my day go south not south, sour. It goes really sour. And sometimes I cry over some of the comments I get. So, um, yeah. So I've been struggling a little bit and I've been feeling uninspired because 
of the meanness that I see sometimes online. And, um, but you know what, having some time with my boys and going camping and stuff like that has been, um, really a blessing for me. It's been much needed and hope that we can move on and continue to create, um, which we're doing now. So we are winning. That's all that I care about. Um, and I've missed you guys so, so much. I appreciate it when you guys worry and you ask, where's Rachel? Um, that makes me feel happy. So thank you. Um, I have a few nice ones coming out over the next couple of days. I will be scheduling them to come out bright and early in the morning. So I hope you get notification. Make sure you hit the like button if you like any of my videos. Always remember to hit the like button. It helps me. Uh, it helps the algorithm. It helps more people see my stuff. And in the end, it helps me to continue to create for you guys and with you guys. So make sure you hit the like button. So I've got my hope on there. I have made sure that I can't see through any of the black lettering. Uh, while I was gapping, I made sure to fill in so I can't see any of the glitter shining through the, the black lettering. Uh, and now I am doing some droopy daisies and I'm using gold. I'm using, of course, folk art Mayan gold. You can use uh, deco art spun gold as well. It has a very nice consistency. Better than the folk art Mayan gold, actually. Uh, I feel it moves a lot nicer and it's not as thick. So... Deco Art Spun Gold is definitely one I recommend. Um, so I'm just sprinkling on some little droopy daisies here right over top. And if you go over top of your lettering, that's okay. We haven't finished our lettering yet, so if you make any mistakes, we can go over it. And I'm going to do some stems. Try and do your stems, even if you do have to draw over top of your lettering to make sure that your stems line up and stuff, that's fine. Because you can go right back over those black letters again and fix everything. Now this rock has been a process because I've already resined it twice. Um, I don't know why I said that it's going for the first coat of resin. Um, it went for a coat of resin already. And that was before we did the alcohol ink. It's going to be going for a third coat of resin once we're done what we're doing today uh, in this portion of the video because we want to resin over top of our lettering and our droopy flowers so they are protected under that nice clear coat um, and it will bring out everything so beautifully. If you don't like the colorful background, you can do just shades of like blue and green and... Uh, even white. You can do white alcohol ink um, and you can just do like a calm background that kind of looks like a sky. Uh, or if you're like me and you like color and you like glitter and you like hope, well, <laughs> you can follow this tutorial and follow in the description with everything that I've used. Um, but definitely try it out with different colors. You don't have to do a rainbow uh, with your, your hope uh, lettering you can just do one color or a couple of colors that aren't anything like what I've chosen today it's totally up to you and if you don't need hope put faith put love put family put welcome and put it on your front porch <laughs> that's all you have to do um, and you can make it yours you don't have to make it just like I am I'm just giving you guys some inspiration um, and it will definitely catch someone's eye. I have a feeling this will definitely catch someone's eye when we are finished. Um, so I'm filling in all of my little petals in white, and I'm going to make sure I do a couple of layers of that white so we can't see any of the color behind it or any of the glitter. And we're going to be doing some chrome powder using a UV light. So like I said, you guys, there's a lot of processes to this um, and it might be intimidating, but if you take it slow and you slow down the video and you go step by step, it's actually super fun and you end up with something magnificent when you're done. Um, and I'm doing the flowers really simple. There, You guys can do these. These are easy. Um, 
And if it's on a pre-resin surface, like mine is right now, if you make a mistake, you can scratch it off and start over. Or, you know, take rubbing alcohol and a, a cotton swab and, and wipe it off that way as well if it's still wet. Um, but yeah, you can clean up all your mistakes really easy when, you, when you're painting on top of a resin surface like this. Um, and the alcohol ink will bleed through. If you don't use a sealant like resin over top of it, it will bleed through your paint. So your daisies would be multicolored. <laughs> your hope word would be multicolored. Your everything would be multicolored. It would just bleed right through. But fortunately, I've put a layer of resin over top of the, the alcohol ink to stop the bleeding from happening. Because I want my daisies white. My droopy daisies need to be white. And I'm not sure if there's actually droopy daisies like this out there anywhere in the world, but I like droopy flowers. <laughs> I don't know why. I just think they look pretty. And I like daisies, so I made droopy daisies. Yep, that's what I've done. <laughs> um, I am excited because I think the kids are going back to school in September. Um, so I might actually have some routine back in my life and in our lives, I should say, not just mine. Um, but I desperately thrive on some routine and I know my children do as well. So I'm looking forward to school and husband being at work all day and, you know, just some time to actually focus on creating some cool stuff for you guys. So, um... We will see. I can't believe it's almost, summer's like halfway over already. Um, for me here anyway, in, in, in Canada, <laughs> summer is half over and uh, it's probably gonna go by really, really fast. Um, so you guys can see I filled in the top part of my daisies with black paint. I'm gonna be outlining all of that again in gold after I do my lettering. So, of course, my black letters have been outlined in gold as well. You can use silver. Um, if you don't want to outline your letters, you don't have to. But it does clean it up nicely uh, on top of that glittery background. I want the letters to stand out over top of that sparkly, bright, colorful background, which is hard. But I think we're going to do it. We're going to make those letters pop right off there so that you can see right away there is lots of hope. So I am going quickly. I don't work this fast in real life, guys. This is the magic of television. <laughs> no, it's the magic of editing. Um, this rock actually took uh, over, over a period of a week and a half um, because I've been very, very busy. So it's taken me about a week and a half to record all of the parts of this process for you guys. And then I edited it, edited it, oh Lord, I edited it down to just over 22 minutes. <laughs> so there's a lot, uh, I've sped this up quite a lot so that you guys can see everything that I'm doing. So everything's outlined. I'm just fixing it, making sure that I didn't get any gold where it's not supposed to be. I will be going back in with the gold because I did go over some of it uh, with black and I have to fix it because it's just missing now. Um, but we'll let the letters dry and we'll work on the flowers a little bit more while the letters are drying. Um, but you guys have seen me do chrome work before with the chrome powders and the gel top coat, which you need a UV light for. So if you guys have done any of my tutorials where um, we've used the UV light for foils or used the UV light for chrome powders, um, or glitter, a holographic glitter, like on my holographic glitter bug. Um, yeah, we use the handy dandy UV light. And I'm just using a little cheap one. I think it cost me like less than 20 bucks on Amazon. And I'm using MAC Art uh, UV Top Coat, which be careful, use gloves, because a lot of people um, end up having a, an allergic reaction to gel or acrylics. Uh, in their lifetime. So make sure you're careful and you wear gloves when you're using this kind of stuff. And sometimes it's very strong. So if you've been to a nail salon, all those uh, toxic smells going around in there, yeah, 
open a window while you're doing this. I want you to have fun, but I want you to be safe. I want you to be so safe. <laughs> All right, so everything's looking pretty good. I think I'm okay with my lettering. Um, and no, in my world of Rachel's Rocks, it's not cheating if you need to use a stencil or even if, if you want to use a tattoo. We are here to make beautiful things. We're not here to have all sorts of weird rules like you can't use that kind of paintbrush or you can't keep your paintbrush in water. Like that's just ridiculous. Um, there's so many people who try and do art a specific way but you can art the way you want, okay? <laughs> let's just let's just art the way we want. I'm going to be having some new merch made um, with the Kiwi, and it's actually going to say, uh, Kiwi, just paint today. And I thought that would be cute. So, Kiwi, Kiwi, just paint. Can we just be friends? <laughs> can we just love glitter? <laughs> Um, so yeah, watch out for that. I will be posting new stuff for merch very, very soon. Um, it takes me a little bit longer to get stuff done right now because all my boys are here. Um, and not to mention I have three cats and a dog. Did I say that before? It's a zoo. I live in a zoo. Um, but yeah, I will be getting some new merch out and I'm still looking into getting custom paint brushes done so that you guys can all have my fine lining brush and not have to make it. <laughs> um, so if you know anybody or can direct me in the right place, I'm a Canadian, but it doesn't really matter. Um, my rocks are all over the world. So um, I would love to have any info you have on where I can possibly get some custom paint brushes made for you all. I am putting orange dots inside of my, my black area that I left black. Um, once I'm filled with orange dots, I'm going to put some yellow ones, moon yellow and pumpkin orange. All my paint colors will be listed in the description of the video. Um, and you don't have to use the same colors I'm using. Remember that. I used classic green for my stems and I just outlined them in gold as well. Everything's outlined in gold. Um, and now we're going to make our flowers pearl. So the, the petals on the flowers are going to be um, more chromey looking. They're gonna have a chrome look to them or a shell, like a shell powder. Um, I'm going to be using, it literally looks like white shell powder, um, or white chrome powder. So I'm going to use this white color on the petals of my droopy daisies. And then I'm going to use like a dark bluish purple on my lettering. So it's the same process. I'm using a disposable eyeliner brush that I got from Amazon. I list those in the description too. <laughs> I filled in my petals with my gel top coat. I cured it for just over a minute with my little um, my little UV light. You got to look for what you need to cure yours at for proper times. Um, just follow the directions for your top coat and your UV light. Um, and if you don't have one, you can put like a clear, like a iridescent glitter or or something just a, a light glitter on top of your petals that will make it look beautiful as well just as beautiful if not more i like the contrast between the glittery background and then the chrome on top of that with the gold and the bold letters and stuff like that it just it looks amazing it looks fantabulous so yeah i'll try not to sing to you this time <laughs> i'm gonna stop myself so I just dust off any extra glitter with my big desk broom, and it's just a fan brush. I'm going to use some bluish purple for my letters, and because my letters are kind of big, I'm just going to use uh, do one letter at a time, and I'm being very careful to stay in the lines using my little disposable eyeliner brush with the gel top coat. Um, this process of making it look like chrome, it doesn't work unless you do it this way. So you have to do the gel top coat first, cure it, let it cure, then you use the glitter on top of it. And it has to be like a specific chrome powder or mirror powder. Um, 
but yeah, you can use holographic uh, powder and make your letters holographic, but I really just wanted this blue. I just love this blue. It looks so nice. And there is a lot of blue in the background too, so it does it does match. There is some matchy matchy going on. <laughs> so I'm going to do my letters one at a time and I'm going to cure them. And then I'm going to put the powder on, the chrome powder. Super easy. And it's nice because even if the chrome powder sticks to anywhere else, you can just wipe it off. I use a Q-tip with a little bit of clean water. And I'm just wiping off where some of the chrome powder might have stuck to the resin surface or anywhere else. But usually your big fan brush will wipe everything off. Any leftovers, just take a Q-tip and wipe it off and it will look beautiful. You can see some of the silvery uh, white chrome powder around the daisies. And I'll be wiping that off too before I seal it with resin because I don't want to ruin it. Um, I don't want everything to be all blurry. Um, so yeah, I, I'm just cleaning it up now, making sure I didn't put any of my chrome uh, gel over top of my gold. And I'm going to separate... Um, Using black, separate some of my petals from my letters. But other than that, next coat of resin. This is the final coat, final coat of resin. And I'm going to sneak it to you. going to give you a little sneak peek because I always do this. When I'm showing myself in the camera, I'm like, ooh, <gasps> peekaboo, peekaboo. Where are you? Oh, there you are. <laughs> So this has been sealed again with resin, three coats of resin for this one. Uh, and in between all of those coats, there's lots of love and work and, and creativity. And it looks so nice. Look at those letters. Do they pop off the rock like crazy now or what? I hope you guys have loved this. I hope you've loved watching me create it as much as I enjoyed making it for you guys, with you guys. I will see you soon. 